Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for joining us for another Panther show. Uh, we are the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy. Uh, well, we fall under the umbrella of the Betty Shabazz International Charter Schools. Today with me, uh, I have our regular guest, Martel. How you doing today, Martel? I'm good. That's good. That's good. Let me, uh, let me give the information real quick. Um, once again, we are Barbara A. Sizemore Academy. We are located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. You can reach us at 773-651-1661. Or you can reach us on the web at www.bsics.org. So, last week's show, we talked a little bit about black history. We've been having a very strong uh, black history month this mm -hmm. year. Stronger than that I've felt in past years. So, over at uh, Barbara Sizemore, every year we have like a uh, black history bowl. Mm -hmm. And Martel, last mm -hmm. week I had uh, Bryson on and he talked a little bit about the bowl. It was a little controversy about, you know, was they cheating last year or who had this, who had that. So I brought on Martel today from behind the scenes. He's part of the Black History Bowl. Tell us a little bit about uh, what happens at the Black History Bowl. Today was the Black History Bowl, so tell us a little bit about what happened. So you get a um, hundred questions about like a lot of um, black um, questions about people and history. And mm -hmm. So it's like basically Black History Month. You're just having a quiz on how much of you know about like the people that was in that time. So what? Um, what I mean, like who? It, it, I'm sure it's a winner and stuff. But what are like some of the prizes that you all get? Um, we get uh, I think um, a pizza party. Pizza party for your um, class. Yeah, my teacher let us get homework off for the rest of the week. Oh man, that sounds sweet. Mm. So tell me, um, how did it go today? What what were the results of today's uh, Black History Bowl? Um, Cause well, I'm, let me remind our viewers: last year, seven, sixth grade one, sixth right? Grade, yeah. Who are in the seventh grade this year? And Martel was in seventh grade last year. He's in the eighth grade now. So t uh, last year he was on the losing end. So tell me what happened to at today's Black History Bowl? Well, currently my team won eighth grade. <laughs> uh huh. Um, it was no type of competition. What? Um, yeah. <laughs> it was maxed um, out. I think it was like 24, 9, 5, and 3. And so y'all had 24. Yeah. And what, 7th grade had 9? Nine? 9. It was like going straight down by grades. So okay. basically 6 had um, 5. And, I mean, 6th grade had 5 and 5th grade had 3. So how many people participate on it from each grade? I know it's not the whole class, right? Um, it's like four each in each grade. Okay. So according to the scores that you gave, it sounded like it was pretty much a blowout. Was that a yeah. blowout? Yeah. Uh, why do you think? Why do you think uh, it was that? It was so lopsided in the victory. Uh, well, my um, my teacher was so determined for this. Uh -huh. She made sure we study. It was a grade to study. If we don't study, we like. <laughs> It was like a, a grade for us, so we'll fail it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great incentive to, uh, if you win, you get a pizza party. Also, you um, you win, you uh, don't have no homework for the rest of the week and stuff. That's excellent. Um, I mean, a little bit about the uh, cheat sheet controversy. Last year was, uh, I think your class claimed that the seventh, well, what is seventh grade now had a cheat sheet. So how do you? What do you think they're gonna be? What are gonna be some of their excuses for you guys when you think they're gonna claim y'all had a cheat sheet this year? Um, they're just gonna claim everything. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna um, they're gonna say we had a cheat sheet. They're gonna say our teacher was the one hosting it. Um, oh uh, yeah, huh? she was doing hosting. stuff for us, but it was nothing. We just tried our best and y'all put we it succeeded. together. And so, how, how many questions did you answer? Well, um. Actually, I wasn't um, in the Black History Bowl, but like, um, you know, it's four students, so they had um, tallied it to like, it's a hundred questions, so mm -hmm. they did like from twenty-five each. Each oh, I person. See. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I mean, so with this uh, being the end of Black History Month, I mean, tell me what? How should? Um, well, how how should us as a people? How should we move forward 
now that we're leaving Black History Month, I mean, how do you feel about that, uh, it just being like one month? Do you think, I kind of feel like we should have Black History Month every month. I mean, how do you feel about that? Yeah, because, um, you know, I'm in an African school, so of course we would want to have like Black History Month every month because it's, it's just all going back to our heritage. Well, uh, tell me this, it brings me to another question, like how do you... Um, Compare how long? Well, first, how long have you been at Bossa going to Barbary Um, Sasmo? This is my second year. Second year, and so you have some experience at another school. What was the school? Well, let's not say any other schools, but you were at another school a few years ago, right? And just in comparison, just on on the cultural side, Hmm. how do you feel uh, comparing your old school with this school as far as culture? Did you was was your last school as cultural as this one? Um. Not really. Um, my last school, they just was based off like work and different things like that. But he, at this school, we just like I have that that um, understanding of, of how black people were, and um, we didn't have that at my other school. We talked about like current people like Martin Luther King, mm-hmm. Rosa Parks, but we never really learned like other people that were, weren't really known for mm-hmm. what they did in black you history. You get that at, at Bossa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just a whole a well-rounded mm-hmm. um, perspective of of black history. I mean, how do you think that's going to help you, like, grow as a young black man? Being that, you know, we growing up, you growing up in Inglewood, we're not in the greatest neighborhood. But how do you feel like that's, ha, that has that helped you, uh, being growing up in the neighborhood that you lived in? I mean, do, how do you think that's going to help you uh, grow as a young man? Um, I think it's going to bring me to a great understanding about um, how I am as a black man and just take those steps forward and do the best I can to like have that knowledge and remember this stuff. Well, do, do your parents, could you, who would you credit, I was going to say uh, your your parents at home, could you credit your parents for your um, thrive for knowledge or uh, uh, how much of an influence do they have on, because I mean, I hear you, the, you, the, you one of the star students, you know, you yeah. getting straight A's and all that, how much of an influence do you, does your parents have over that? Um, they're very supportive, um, my mom, um, who's currently with me right now. Mm-hmm. Um, she, um, like, she tells me to do the best I can and what I can, and if I achieve it, I can do the, be the best I can be. And, and she was the one who, like, know that this was a good school to take because Mm -hmm. you're now also learning about different, um, like, math skills, science skills, reading skills. You're also learning about where you come from and... That's, That's good. I um before we go any further, I'm gonna play just a little video clip uh, to kind of give our viewers a little, kind of like an inside view of what we got going on over there at uh, Barbara Sizemore Academy. Not only do we have Barbara Sizemore Academy, but once you see in the back of us, you see Betty Shabazz. It's all part of the Betty Shabazz International Charter School System. So let me play a quick little video and can kind of give our viewers an uh, idea of what we do over at Bossa. Swore that looked like you over there drumming on the drums. Was that you? Yeah. Um, so you a drummer also? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm also. Okay. Well, what's yeah. the name of that drum that you was playing? Um, it's called a djembe. Djembe. Yeah. How long you been playing the djembe? Um, well, I really haven't been playing djembe, but ever since I came to this school, it was has been like one of the most interesting things I've seen. Um, also coming from Africa, so I um will try to try it. And, and so you learned all that. You learned all that at the school. You didn't know none of that before you came to the school. Nope. So uh, what was there a class that you learned that in, or 
Um, how did you go about? What well, did you see them drumming? He was like, "Man, I want to drum and I want to learn." Well, how did you go? Who, who taught um, you all that stuff? Um, so we um were in like prep class, and mm -hmm. my um our African drum and dance teacher um she said um is that Mama Koya? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then Mama Koya, mm -hmm. and she um um let us like the boys play the drums, and she went to see what we had in each other. And then she was like, I have a really good drum, and I didn't know. So it was from that step where it was a good experience. So I just stuck on with it. Yeah, I see, you, I see you drumming in the morning every morning at Morning Circle. We have a circle when we, when we come at um, 8 in the morning, and we drum. We sing a few chants and acknowledge each other in the circle. And Brother Martel, he is there drumming. It looked like you was kind of instructing some of the younger. Is that what you do also? You kind of yeah, instruct them yeah. on how to drum? That's good. That's pretty good. I'm going to um, switch gears a little bit. Um, also, this brother Martel is on the basketball team. And on, on the weekends, I go to their games and film and record uh, some of their games. And um, I haven't been to any game yet where they lost. But I heard you, got, you guys lost last weekend. Tell me about that, man. What happened? Because y'all was on a roll for a while. Yeah, we were... Um we were striving to be the best in the um the league um and it was this just this one team that like basically our biggest rivals at this point is um, that Ariel yeah the okay yeah they Ariel. they're known for having a pretty good team yeah we were both undefeated mm -hmm. and um yeah they were they um they brought like, their a they game brought their a game okay well i mean so from a lot of the games that i've seen I um I y'all do pretty good. I mean, I see y'all like to pass around. You pass the ball pretty well. Um, got a, some height on your team. I mean, I want to ask you: Have you gotten any better? Um, you was on the basketball team last year. Um, no. Or no? Is no. this your first year? Yeah. So first from being on the basketball team, have you gotten better? Um, yeah. learning some new skills and yeah. some new um, stuff. Yeah, my coach. Um, he he um tells us his best line. He um get better every day. Mm -hmm. And he said, this, um, "You tell people that every um, every time you go somewhere, ask them, are you um, any good? Just tell them that you're getting better every day." Okay. I um, also too like uh, you're a pretty good basketball player, but I know you're also good in academics. Mm -hmm. What um, do you do? You ever think of taking basketball as a career? I mean, I know you're gonna succeed um, academically, but do you ever think about? Um, basketball as a career um i watch it a lot and mm -hmm. um i i see myself playing it a little longer um mm -hmm. to see where it goes and where it takes me thinking about summer programs and different things such as that yeah because you know, I mean, you look like you're gonna have some height on you man you know you dunking yet <laughs> touching the I rim know. i'm oh um, i'm touching the bottom of the rim so i'm okay. almost there you're almost there that's good who so who would you say is your favorite basketball player at this point um I say um, Stephen Curry because like he he not only is a good basketball player he um he's a um a good spokesperson so he so he likes to um tell people like um to do this and follow your dream and things like that and I really um he really motivates me to be a good basketball player it's a lot of people do I, that's one thing I do like about Steph Curry one um, he plays for my favorite team, Golden State, because I'm from Oakland, California. I'm from the Bay. Um, so I've always been a Golden State fan, even when they wasn't any good. But I do like Steph Curry because he is a good motivational person. A lot of young kids look up to him. Um, and I, I, I appreciate, you know, uh, I, I believe if Martell made it in the NBA, he'd be something similar to that. Um but I'm a, let me let me tell our viewers one more time that we are the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy. Uh, we're located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. Uh, you can reach us at 773-651-1661. Or you can reach us on the web at www bsics dot org. So, um, before we go any further, I want to thank Brother Martell. I'm gonna cut into a video. You will see Brother Martell again here um, 
in the near future. He's behind the scenes, but we wanted to bring him up to the forefront today, kind of uh, pick his brain a little bit. Um, we're going to switch uh, guests in just a second, but before we do that, I am going to run through one more video. This video is um, at our morning circle. Um, our other guest that comes through, Kyra, she... Um, Oh, actually, I forgot. This is this video is not with Kyra's group. This video is with our seventh grade class, and I'm gonna just show you a little bit of some of the dancing that we do at Morning Circle. So, without further ado. <laughs> introduce yourself um, um hello I'm I'm Christian uh, I'm Christian Taylor Kyra's brother and I'm a guest today my name is Kyra and today I'm going to be interviewing my brother so Christian even though you're like not supposed to pick favorites do you what's your favorite uh -huh. That's a hard question. <laughs> Should be easy. <laughs> I would say Kamaya. I feel offended. The only reason why I say Kamaya is because you get irritated fast. Oh. Well, it's not really my fault. Okay, okay can we go to the next question, please? So, like, you know what? I know who my favorite is. Me, myself, and I. You know what? Because you, I do everything for you. Next question, please. <laughs> anyway, how do you feel about me or Kamaya? And if you don't know Kamaya, that's my little sister. Um, I feel that both of y'all can be irritating at times. And y'all both have a nice personality, I guess. <laughs> I have the nicest personality in my eye. Okay. <laughs> what I feel about you and Kamaya, well, I love you both equally. I'm not really going to pick favorites. Both of y'all can be irritating, selfish. <laughs> I still do things for y'all because, I mean, y'all my siblings, so I have to. So, like, do you ever feel the need to fight us for no reason? No, but I feel the need to argue with y'all. Because um, y'all go in my room a lot. Look, I I can make an excuse for that. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> um, so like, well, I feel the need to argue and fight with y'all because I mean, y'all like you said, I get irritated easily, and like y'all irritate me a lot. Always wanted me to do stuff when I have hard homework. But you do your homework late. Okay, let's not make this an argument on TV, okay? <laughs> um, Mama Nakia, if you're watching this, Kyra does your homework at breakfast. <laughs> Dude! You copied off my last one. 
Do you think we look alike? Not really. But you was just saying we was twins in the car. Kinda, sorta, but we don't look alike like that. You know what? I know why you don't look. We don't look like. I because look I look than more. You. No, I look more like mom. I look, I look more like mommy. And you look more, more like daddy. No, I look better than you. Huh, you're fine. Look, dude. I but think I we look alike. We sometimes act alike. Y'all think we look alike? Anyway, what do you want to be when you get older? A singer. Okay. I want to be a dancer, or maybe an actor, or maybe a writer. But or... the only reason why I say I would want to be a singer is because I feel that it's like a path. I feel like it's a passion or something that I would like to do as I grow up and get older. Mm. Okay, so like I want to be a dancer because, or an actor, or a doctor. Well, I want to be a doctor because I love helping people. Like, I, I just love helping people. I want to be an actor because I'm so dramatic. And like, I want to be a dancer because, well, I mean, that's what I do. That's what I'm all about. Dancing. Um... And I might want to be like a writer because I love writing books. And if you guys want to contact us, we go to Barbara A. Sizemore Academy at 654 South Story Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. Or call 773-651-1661. Or go to the web at www.bsics.org. And so like... It's a lot of things I want to do. I mean, I'm great at everything. I'm not perfect, but I'm perfect in my own unique way. Um, so, like, Christian, do you think that we will, like, you know, be on our feet and, like, one of us won't be on our feet and, like, will help the other person? No, I feel that all of us will succeed and I feel that all three of us will be able to grow up and be what we, be what we want to be. Because right now we're all doing good in school, and I feel, and I and I feel that it's well. This is a good start right now, because if we're all doing good, if we're all doing good in school, <laughs> it, that means as we get older, that means we'll do better. How do you think mommy and daddy feel about us arguing all the time, like um, every day, like nonstop? They hate it. Um, if my mom could, she would pull her hair out. <laughs> look! 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 You know what? I feel that my parents don't like when we argue because they like to see us smile at each other and like like to see us happy and stuff. So like, let's go on to Kamaya. Do you think she's a drama queen? Yes. I think she's a total drama queen. She's fun to play with. Like she is cute and she's adorable and she's fun and crazy and she's everything. I mean like, she's a blessing. Sometimes. A mean oh. blessing. <laughs> Um, and like, my little sister, she, she might be watching me right now. And we'll be I love home. you, Kamaya. I love you too, little sis. Anyway, do you think that, um, when, do you think that, do you think that when we did the quiz bowl, do you think that it was fair? No, I do not. I think eighth grade cheated. <clears throat> okay, preach. Because when we were up there... Um, I'm not gonna say names because I don't want nobody. Um, one of the one of uh, one of the um one of the kid one of the kids that was in the quiz bowl in eighth grade, they kept on looking at Mr. Martell. Mm. Um, and Martell had the um answer key to the <laughs> quiz bowl, and everybody in seventh grade saw it. And everybody in 6th and 7th grade know it. And Mar Mr. Martell decided that it was smart to pass the answer key down. Okay, so we're about to wrap up. So I just want to say thank you to Mr. Martell. Thank you to Bobby Eric and any of the guests who are on the show. I would like to thank my brother for being on the show, talking to me. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.